Hey y'all, it's me, Slay by Jordan, and the company I'll be working with today is Julia Hair. They sent me over a HG 5x5 lace closure wig, 32 inches in the texture body wave. As you can see, this wig has a very, very thin lace, and this will blend with any skin tone, whether you're fair, medium, or dark. It doesn't matter. The HD lace will blend with any skin tone. As you can see, I'm surprised that I got minimal shedding, being that this is a 32-inch body weight wig. But y'all already know, Julia hair comes with the quality. So today, I'm going to do a custom color. You're going to need a bucket, some bleach, some 40 volume developer, some gloves, and you're going to need some hot water. Today I'm going to do the hot, um, not the hot, but the bleach water method again. Y'all, like I told y'all, I'm never going to paint bleach on the hair ever again unless I have to do highlights. So you're going to take your bleach. I use a lot. It's no exact measurement. I take my 40 volume developer. I use a lot. I mix that together and then I add hot water until I feel like um, the mixture is high enough for um, the wig to be fully submerged in it. So now I'm gonna dip the wig in the mixture. You wanna make sure that this bleach water mixture is all over the hair. Make sure you open the hair up and make sure you are brushing through the hair to make sure that the mixture is touching every single part of the hair. You want an even bleach and even tone. So just make sure you work that all the way in. And once you work it all the way in, I've got it set in the bucket for about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, being that we're doing a burgundy color and deep burgundy color today, we do not need to um, bleach the hair blonde. We literally just need to bleach the hair to a brown color. That is all. After we let that process and it got to this brown color, I'm gonna um, squeeze out all the excess bleach so you can see. This is perfect. We're gonna go ahead and rinse this out and I'm gonna rinse it out with hot water and I'm going to shampoo it using some done dish detergent. Like I said in my last video, y'all, don't ask me why we use dish detergent. Just get you some dish detergent and wash the weed, okay? Don't ask no questions. Just follow what I'm saying. So our custom color today, we're gonna use three bottles of Burgundy Envy and two bottles of Rich Amber. I know you only saw two bottles of each, but I'm actually gonna use three bottles of the Burgundy Envy and two bottles of the Rich Amber. I mix all those evenly up together. The wig is still wet. You can definitely apply your color while your wig is still wet. It's still my permanent color. I even apply my permanent color while my wig is still wet because it's just easier to apply. For the lace part, I'm using my comb to apply the color to the roots. That way I don't get it on the lace. Once I apply um the color to all the roots with the comb, I'm gonna go back through with my um coloring brush. And then for the back hair, I probably will use my brush my hand. It all depends on my mood, but you just wanna make sure that you're getting that color everywhere. You do not want any brown spots because once you style the hair, you see those pieces, that is not cute. So make sure you take the time and color the hair. If you are lazy, you actually can watercolor the hair, but I've noticed with um, bleaching hair and then doing the watercolor, it kind of stains the lace. And um, I can't guarantee you that if you do the watercolor, that your lace won't be stained. So I just prefer you take the hard route and just paint the color on. It gives you a better color payoff in the end and it lasts longer. So, girl, sit down, take you some time and just paint the color on that wig. After I finish painting the color all over the hair, I let it sit for at least an hour, but I prefer you let it sit overnight. But you gotta let it sit at least an hour and I rinsed it out with cold water and I conditioned it. And this is the next day once it is fully dry in the natural sunlight. This burgundy color is so fire. I love creating my own custom colors. It just made me feel like, you know, I'm a colorist, you know. Not like a colorist, like a racist, but you know, like a colorist, like, you know, like um, you know, cosmetologist colorist, you know. Let me stop talking before I've been upset the wrong thing. Okay, um, so yeah, this color is so lit, y'all. I love this burgundy. It's so perfect for the fall. And then like in the sunlight, it's even more bright. It's perfect for those women that don't want too much, but still want something. So yeah, as you can see, face is beat by Selena underscore underscore Alexis on Instagram. Come through, baby. So today we're going to do a glueless install. So I will not be securing the ball cap. I'm literally just going to put the ball cap on her head and apply makeup to it. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I
Y'all, look at this color. Look at how this Julia body wave hair pressed bone straight. Like, y'all, just get into it. Like, period. A completely glueless install. Once again, this is a 32-inch body wave 5x5 HD lace closure wig from Julia Hair. Make sure you check the description box for all links. There will be some coupon codes. Be looking out for a Black Friday sale, y'all. And I'll also have a link to the Erica J. Hold Me Down holding spray. I thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And turn your notification bell. More videos coming. Love y'all. Goodbye.